Starting from God knows when, every newborn baby in China has to go through a couple years of this maximum convenience with minimum coverage experience. There was no diaper or toilet, cotton was expensive, country was less crowded, land was wide and open, earth needed to be fertilized, babies needed to poop and pee. One of the moms got sick of washing dirty baby pants, so she split it down the middle, front and back, and somehow trained a baby to squat down in this open crotch pants whenever the urge came. A whistle sound was also developed to trigger a baby's urination.
Chami. Be rich. Be famous. Be tough. Be popular. Be you.
How important can a single moment be? Millions pass us by without a second thought. As days dredge into weeks, into years, it is easy for a single moment to seem insignificant. But we are wrong. The fact is, it's easy for a single moment to feel insignificant. But I believe that everyone, if they really thought about it, has had a single moment that may have lasted only a few seconds, but has changed their life forever. My decision at 17 years old. Of what to do after high school came down to a fork in the road. Should I go one way or the other? There will be no turning back. We had months to make that decision. I waited until the last day. On the day before the deadline, overwhelmed by feelings of anger, betrayal, heartbreak, and fatigue, I threw away all my previous thoughts and chose. I had seen the person I had been so enamored with, who had so consumed my heart for years, lying under a blanket, trading kisses with my friend, not ten feet from my face. I can remember exactly how it made me feel, because I had never felt that kind of pain before. I'm not proud to admit it, but ultimately, after months of planning, thinking, and debating. I made this life-changing decision of going to a different college without her, because I was hurt, and I felt out of control. I took something that I knew would be my choice, a mine alone, and I grabbed it. At that point, I had no idea what would come next, but the decision was made, and I had to live with it. I did not know it at the time, but this was my moment. Since then. I've studied and traveled on four continents, sung in Vatican, seen the sunrise in Namib Desert, straddled the equator, and met friends who have made me a better person, and that I will cherish forever. I met a girl that I love more than anything, and what's more, she loves me too. Funny enough, if it weren't for that girl that broke my heart, I never would have found the one that would make it feel full. But that's what makes all of this so remarkable. All these incredible experiences, the innumerable moments of joy that have come to me, are because of that one moment that broke my heart, and that sent me down a path that I am on today. Sometimes I think back to that exact moment, how easily it could have been changed, and how everything about my life would be different if none of it happened. Of course, the great irony of all this is that if I asked her about that day, she may not even remember it. It is easy to feel insignificant, and often we do not appreciate a moment until it becomes a memory, if ever at all. But think about the impact you can make in just a few seconds. Realize just how powerful you are. First year of high school, I met this boy who owned me every time he smiled. A year later, we were put in the same class and sit right next to each other. We became very close friends. I had few friends because of my introversion, but with him, we never ran out of topics. I even became unbelievably witty around him. We lived like that for almost two years. I never had the courage to tell him how much I like him. Soon we went to different colleges. The distance tortured me. I decided to tell him that I love him, but I couldn't. I didn't want to give him any pressure. And I didn't want to risk losing him as a friend, but I had to do it somehow, for I owe it to myself. Finally, I figured a way. Every year, when I sent him the happy birthday text message, 
I ended the text with one letter from "I love you," and it took eight years to complete it. I figured he would never find out since it took so long, and maybe I'd get over him after eight years. A few months ago, I was about to send him the last text. I was overwhelmed and devastated. I knew it finally came to an end, but it wasn't like a relief. I sent out a text, turned off the phone, and went to bed. My tears kept running that night. I couldn't sleep. The next morning, I sleepily turned on the phone, and there came a text from him. I love you too. I was hammered. I thought I was dreaming like one of those thousand dreams I'd had with him. Then I realized it was real. I started crying. I used all my strength to cry, like a newborn baby. Now I'm about to see him soon after the Chinese New Year. We already missed our entire eight years. I don't know how long we'd be together again, but I'll be happy if it was just a day, an hour.